more different than if I picked a different one. So articulately spoken there. A little like studio lighty thingy. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today. And I would say it was a little bit of a hodgepodge week. I've got some kind of like random sort of favorites, but then I do have some kind of like Valentine's-y sort of favorites too, mainly in the like lip department. So yeah, got some fun favorites, so let's get to it. On my eyes this week, I was playing with my Makeup Peak shadows quite a bit, certain shades. So first off, Glamorous. I got that in my BoxyCharm box and it's so pretty. I have quite a few Makeup Peak eyeshadows, but I didn't have this one yet and I'm so glad I got it because it's a gorgeous shade. So I wore that one this week. I wore this one, which is Chickadee. And then I also wore Desert Sands quite a bit. Just in my crease, they're really cool, like just kind of warm, different sort of um, crease colors. That's why I really like them. They're, they're a little bit out there, especially Chickadee because it's super duper orange. But I do have that in my crease today, just a little bit. And then also I wore Bitten, which I got that in my BoxyCharm as well. Bitten's kind of like a burgundy, purpley sort of color. It's really pretty. It's one that has to be built up just a little bit, not a lot, but it sometimes takes a couple of layers, but it does build on itself really well. And it's just a really pretty matte wine purpley shade. These are so pretty. So very, very warm toned. I really was trying to go less dramatic on my eyes today. I was trying to do just kind of like a light coppery golden sort of a look and it got a lot more dark and dramatic than I was expecting. So don't mind the overall rather overdone <laughs> makeup look, but you know, sometimes you're playing and just get carried away. I do have a little bit of Bitten in my outer corner, but I also have Mocha. So maybe that's what made it more dramatic. I don't know, but they're really, really pretty eyeshadows, but I would say that the standout for sure this week is Glamorous, just a beautiful coppery, golden. It's really just like an orangey copper is probably the best way I could describe it. Love, love, love it. For blush this week, I have been really, really enjoying my e.l.f. blush palette and I have the light one. This is so nice. Like when I first got it from e.l.f., I thought I would like it and I, I liked it when I first swatched it. But now after wearing it, I really, really like this. Like it's really nice and pigmented, but they're not difficult to blend and they look really, really pretty on the cheeks. I don't notice them fading really. I have a hard time like noticing my blush if it fades or not. It really has to go away before I like notice it fading, but I didn't notice that with these. But they just have a really nice texture to them. Very kind of like buttery and soft and they're really not powdery. Like I would expect them to maybe be powdery and kind of like, you know, poof away and kick up a lot of product or whatever, but I really, didn't notice that with it. It like really has a nice texture to them. So they're all really pretty. The one that I've been loving the most that I've got on today is the kind of like deeper pink, mauvey, purpley sort of color. Oh, so pretty. And I think this is like $6. So four blushes for $6. That's awesome. That's such a good deal. And I was also loving this new blush from Pixie. This is in collaboration with Aspen Novard. And this is the Glowy Powder in Rome Rose. This is so beautiful. I do think this is a dupable shade for sure because it is kind of like a, one of those like glowy peachy pink sort of colors, but it's a really pretty version of it. So it might be dupable, but I feel like this is a really good because it has a really like nice texture to it. I put up a whole video on new Pixie products on Monday, I think. So if you want to see like all their new products that they've done in collaboration with a bunch of beauty influencers, check out that video. But this is definitely one of the standouts for me. It's just like a, that beautiful kind of peachy pink that has that kind of like a golden sheen glow to it. It just makes this really beautiful, youthful, fresh sort of cheek. It's so, so pretty. I do wish the packaging was different. I wish it wasn't a screw on top. I wish it was like the little hingy situation. I think that would be easier to work with. So I would change the packaging, but the product inside, I really love. I also wear this highlighter from Wet n Wild almost every single day this week. 
This is the Two Reflect Shimmer Palette, and this is in the shade Boozy Brunch. Now, this is supposed to be the same shade as Hollywood Boulevard that was part of the Fergie line that was discontinued. So they came out with this one. I own Hollywood Boulevard and love that one. So I was comparing them. I bought this one just so I could talk about it in videos and have the new version and it was on sale and blah, 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 blah. And I was kind of curious if they were the same. Mine are not the same. Of course, it is a marbled sort of a makeup product, so there is gonna be differentiation just based on how the marbling is laid out. So it's probably that, that I just picked this one in one that had more, like, I don't know, just picked up one that had more bronze and pinks, you know, not really realizing it, because this one, Boozy Brunch, is a little bit deeper and more like warm toned than my Hollywood Boulevard. I really like them both, but my Hollywood Boulevard is lighter and more kind of like a, a light icy gold, whereas this one is a little bit deeper and more of a warm gold. Both really pretty and still really, really close because I've seen other people compare these and theirs look a lot closer. So maybe I just happened to pick one that's more different than if, you know, I picked a different one. So I don't know. More different than if I'd picked a different one. So articulately spoken there. So anyway, there's the color. It's a beautiful highlighter though. These are really, really nice. I think they're such great quality. They are really intense and just really nice and metallic and they're a statement sort of a highlighter. They're really, really beautiful. And they're like $4.99, $4 I think they're $5.99. I think when I got it, it was buy one, get one half off. Now this one is borderline almost too dark for my skin tone. So I really have to kind of apply it lightly and just know it's not gonna be that like light highlight on me. It's gonna be just a little bit of like a golden-y sheen. You know what I mean? So it's still really pretty. I love the texture on it. Such a nice highlighter and it is really pretty in the pan. So I'm enjoying it. Now on to lip favorites. Merle Norman was so sweet and sent me a little box of some Valentine's themed lip colors. And I have two standouts that I was loving this week. At first when I was swatching them, I thought that this one was gonna be my overall favorite. They were all really beautiful. But when I was swatching them, this is the one that I was like, oh my goodness, I love this. But I ended up having another one that I like even more, which is what I'm wearing right now, which I'll share with you in a second. But first off, this one's really beautiful. This is the creamy lip color in its box randomly. The creamy lip color in Raspberry Crush. I don't know, me in boxes. I really like their packaging. Like it feels really weighty, like really nice and high end, just a heavy feeling lipstick, very nice. So when I was looking at this in the bullet, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It's like a very neutrally pink. But then I swatched it and I was like, oh my goodness. It's like a pinky, mauve -y sort of a color, but it has, I can't really see it as well under these lights, but when I was taking them under my little like, have a little like studio lighty thingy that I take my swatch pictures under, so that one's a really bright light, so I could see it under there more. It almost has like a little bit of like a metallic -y sheen. I don't know if you can see it, but it's so pretty. It just has this like dimension to it. It's really, really beautiful. These are so comfortable. Their lip colors just really impress me. Their makeup impresses me in general, but their lip colors honestly remind me a lot of MAC, especially the other one I'm about to mention to you reminds me so much of MAC. This one, this one doesn't have a scent. The other one does, which makes me think of MAC even more just because of the scent. So anyway, this one is so pretty, beautiful, pinky mauve with a little bit of like a, I don't know, sheen situation that's just really gorgeous. And then this one, which is what I'm wearing right now, this is the Age Defying Plus Lip Color in Fuchsia Flirt. So this is such a beautiful color. It's just like a, like a fuchsia like a pinky fun fuchsia color. So this is the one, oh my gosh, it smells just like a MAC lipstick. It's got that like vanilla sort of a scent. It smells amazing. This feels like a MAC lipstick, like very nice and creamy and comfortable. Okay, so let's talk about the color. The color is beautiful. It's a bright, fun shade. It does look deeper on my lips, I think, because my lips are a little bit pigmented. I do have a lip liner on today, which does deepen it up a little bit as well but you can see it there, but it looks a little bit darker than this by itself on my lips, but it's just a really pretty kind of like bright fuchsia sort of color. So I love the shade of it, 
but when I wore this for the first time, I wore this several times this week. When I wore it for the first time, I was so impressed with how it wore. I went to lunch with my family and I even came back from lunch and I was gonna go to reapply and I'm like, oh. I even said it out loud to my mom. I was like, look at my lip color. She said, I thought you reapplied it because it wasn't like smeared everywhere. Now I'd been wearing it for a little bit before I ate lunch. So I think it had time to kind of set a little bit, but it wasn't smeared everywhere. It wasn't really worn off. It was a little bit lightened, but it was still there for the most part. It wasn't this intense, but still really intense. Like it looked like I was still wearing lip color. So that like super duper impressed me just how it wore. Now when you first apply it, it feels like more of a cream lipstick. It will move, you know, it can get on your teeth for sure and it has gotten on my teeth. Um, but once it sets, it's really kind of like a satin, almost matte sort of a lipstick, which I love because then it doesn't really move. It wears well when you eat. It's just like a great lipstick. So I'm crazy, crazy impressed with the formula on this lipstick. Not to mention that the color is just happy and Valentine's y and it just makes me happy. So yes, this is like if I pick one overall standout favorite for the week, this is for sure it. And then I wore these two glosses from Wet n Wild this week. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks lip glosses. And I first kind of, what kind of like reminded me to wear these again, I saw Lisa Lisa D1 talk about this one. I think it was this shade, or at least she was talking about one of these lip glosses. And it kind of like reminded me, oh yeah, I should pull those out and wear them. So I wore both of these and really, really like them. And I think they're like two or three dollars. They're crazy affordable and they're very nice. So Mega Slicks lip glosses. And the first color is 556B Sun Glaze. And the other one is 544 Sinless. You know what's kind of funny? I was swatching some of the Lancome metallic looking lip glosses and the way they look reminded me so much of these. Now those felt more sticky. These are a lot more comfortable, but these don't stick around for a very long time. So you don't get the longevity with them, but you get the comfort. So, and I mean, comparing the Lancome and these, those are stickier, these are more comfortable, those are longer wearing, these aren't as long wearing, but those are like, I think 20 or 22 bucks and these are like two or three. So I'm happy with these. So there is Sun Glaze and there is Sinless. So they're like very kind of 80s metallic-y looking glosses, but just popped like right in the middle of the lips. It's so pretty. So I mainly wore these over things. Like I wore this one over this lipstick for Valentine's Day and then this one, I wore it over kind of a neutral color one day and then I wore it by itself like later in the day once the once I went to reapply it, I just wore it by itself and I liked it by itself. But mostly I wear these over something. So they're just really pretty like metallic-y looking glosses. And especially like if it's, you know, I feel like this color right here, this isn't one that I'm gonna get a ton of use out of. It's kind of like a, you know, a Barbie pink that I'm just, wanting to wear occasionally as like a fun, you know, valentines -y sort of a lip color. So I don't want to spend 20 something dollars on it if I'm not going to wear it that often. So I like the idea that I can get it for two or three and still really enjoy it. And they also smell really nice. Well, I think they smell nice. They smell very kind of like baby powdery. So I like the scent. I don't mind the scent, but some people may hate it. So that's just a little side note. They kind of smell like baby powder. And sadly, I do have a fooey this week. And a couple of people were actually mentioning, like noticing that I really don't have fooeys a lot. And, you know, I was thinking about it and I think just overall, I just really like makeup. And so I'm kind of like easy to please when it comes to makeup. Like I just like makeup. I like playing with makeup. So if a product doesn't work, like in a certain way, but I have to like tweak the way that I use it to make it work. I really don't mind that overall if I can make it work just because I like playing with makeup and I'm just kind of easy to please when it comes to makeup. So that's why I don't really have a lot of fooies very often. I'm just kind of, you know, I like a lot of makeup. So, but this one really didn't work for me. And actually I could have mentioned this last week and I totally forgot about it. This was sent to me by this brand, which was so sweet of them to let me try it out, but it just, it didn't work for me. This is the Cherry Blooms Fiber Brow Mineral Fiber Brow Kit with Stencils. And the shade that's closest to working for me but still really doesn't work is Latte. And this is technically for platinum blonde hair and I'm definitely not platinum blonde. 
but this one's still too dark for me, even this one. The next one was even deeper and that one didn't work. So first off, the color doesn't work, but mainly, like these are the two big issues. The color doesn't work because it's too dark and it's too warm tone, but also like even as I'm kind of doing this, I mean, there's just like product poofing everywhere, little fibers just going everywhere. So when I tried to apply this, it was too dark and too warm and it got all over my face. I mean, just little fibers everywhere. And somebody was asking me on Snapchat, cause I mentioned this on Snapchat, if an eyeshadow would do the, the same thing, like wouldn't an eyeshadow kind of poof all over your face? And yes, to a certain extent, but I think mainly if it would be a really soft eyeshadow, if it's not as soft of a shadow, it wouldn't do that as much. But even then, it I don't think would be nearly as much as this. Like this just really, I couldn't get it on my brows without it going everywhere. Just the nature of it being poofy and fibery. So yeah, I mean, overall, maybe it's just like a application technique I could change, but the color just doesn't work. So overall, this just didn't work for me. All right, guys, those are all my favorites and my fooey for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.